Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, a couple of days ago, I posted a video about a couple of reasons why you may want to keep using Windows 10 as long as possible after support ends soon in October next month. I'll leave the video linked. Now, just to do a follow-up on a couple of features I think most users of Windows 10 will miss. Seen as Microsoft has officially said that Windows 10 is ending support on the 14th of October next month, which will be Patch Tuesday, unless you sign up to the ESU for an extra year, or you get up to three years if you are in an enterprise environment, as I have been posting. Now, it goes without saying that obviously when that date arrives, and after that date, Windows 10 will carry on working fine. But seeing that according to Microsoft, support is officially ending, I thought maybe a good time to look at some features that I think most will miss about Windows 10. Now, just a quick side note, there are a couple of features overlapping that I mentioned in the previous video. But one or two will be unique to this video as well. Now, first of all, looking at the Start menu, and I think this is a big one for Windows 10 users, where Microsoft found the so-called balance between design and customization. And yeah, we can see it combines the Windows 7 All Apps list with Live Tiles that were a feature Microsoft introduced from and in Windows 8. It allows you to pin apps, folders, and websites to the Start menu. And it also includes a full screen mode and you are able to resize the menu by dragging its edges. And that's a big one for me, which is not available over on Windows 11, being able to customize the size of the start menu, where the start menu for Windows 11 is basically static, as you may well know, and has fewer customization options. Although Microsoft is going to be introducing a new layout in Windows 11, but I still feel Windows 10 has a better start menu. And I think a lot of you will agree with me. And then another one is the taskbar, where the taskbar, if we head into our settings, you are able to place the taskbar at the bottom, left, top, or right. And this is a feature that is missing over on Windows 11, which I think is a highly requested feature for a lot of viewers and users of Windows 11. And we also get, over and above, being able to move the taskbar to those different locations. We also get the ability to use small taskbar buttons, which resizes the start menu. You can see it makes it smaller. Now, although on Windows 11, small taskbar buttons are available as an option, it doesn't actually, though, resize the actual taskbar. So that's the difference. You get the smaller buttons, but you don't get the smaller taskbar. So I think the customization and the functionality of the taskbar in Windows 10 is a lot better than it is over on Windows 11. And then moving on to the next and the File Explorer, I think for a lot of users is better than Windows 11's. Where it's stable, the performance is better and it doesn't feel as bloated. And although Windows 11 has a modern design, it has introduced a couple of user interface inconsistencies, which we have spoken about quite in depth on the channel. And for me, the File Explorer in Windows 10 just works. And this is another feature I think a lot of users of Windows 10 will miss. And the next one is the hardware requirements that I think are a lot less demanding and resource hungry than over on Windows 11. And it also seems to be that with Windows 11, the more AR that Microsoft is pumping into Windows 11, it's actually making the OS more sluggish and bloated. And the hardware requirements for Windows 10, as you may well know, 
Another thing that I think is a move in the right direction for a lot of Windows 10 users is it doesn't require TPM2 secure boot or newer hardware and newer processors which at the end of the day means you can avoid unnecessary hardware upgrades which at the end of the day costs money and even yesterday I posted that Microsoft to some degree or the other still wants Windows 10 users to run out and buy a Windows 11 PC if their device cannot upgrade to Windows 11 at the end of support because of those strict hardware requirements and Windows 11 introduced stricter requirements that caused lots of devices just to become obsolete. And this is something we have been talking about quite in depth on the channel regarding e-waste and the end of life and so on. And here's another one we have touched on briefly in a previous video is you get fewer distractions, especially in regards to AR, artificial intelligence. And although Windows 10 has the Copilot app, which can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store, it can be uninstalled. So you don't have to use it. So that's really the only AR that's available in the Windows 10 operating system, over and above what's available in Microsoft Edge, obviously. But the thing with Edge is you don't have to use the browser if you don't want to. So to some degree or the other, Windows 10 will be the last version of Windows that is not focused on AR. And it seems that Microsoft is on a mission to push AR into everything when it comes to Windows 11, especially Copilot Plus PCs. And although AR can be useful, I think for a lot of users... Is not everybody's so-called cup of tea. So I think a distraction-free operating system, especially with hardly any AR, is something that will be missed with Windows 10. And here's one I'm just going to mention. Windows 10 allowed you to set up a local account without having to use workarounds like you need over on Windows 11. And obviously, Microsoft's mission is to get everybody to sign in with a Microsoft account over on Windows 11 where Windows 11 during the setup process in the OOBE, the out-of-box experience, Microsoft is basically forcing you toward signing in with a Microsoft account. So I think for a lot of users in regards to privacy and not having a Microsoft account and just running a local account, I think that's a big one that will also be missed with Windows 10. And although Microsoft is ending support, as mentioned, in just really a couple of days' time, just over a month, if we head over to the last video I posted regarding the stat counter survey results for the desktop Windows version market share, I titled the video, Surprising, Is Windows 10 Making a Market Share Comeback? And these were the stat counter August 2025 results where, where Windows 10 started once again gaining market share on Windows 11, where previously that was not the case. It was kind of nosediving. And I'll leave this video linked because I do explain a little bit in there why that may be happening and so on. So still lots of market share left in Windows 10. And that's after 10 years of service and life. So just a couple of things I think a lot of users are going to miss in Windows 10. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Obviously, this was not a comprehensive list. Maybe you've got some other ideas or features that you'll miss personally. Let me know your thoughts down below. Be interested to hear what you've got to say. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.